Hey guys, what's up? David Erpaski here, and today I want to talk a little bit about Divi and using Divi for serious web development. Uh, editing the CSS directly from the modules and not having to go to a child theme to do that. Um, I guess the video was started because I went to a couple of conferences this summer for WordPress. Uh, I went to Word, WordCamp Kent and in Kent, Ohio. And I went to WordCamp DC in Washington, DC. And a common theme that I got from developers is that Divi wasn't real web development because it was a page builder. And honestly, I never used the page builder at all with Divi. Um, I've always used um, this view, uh, the Divi builder, because it's it gives me so much control over the over the front end code. Um, I mean, I can really get at all, I mean, I, a lot of what we do when we have a child theme is with, with WordPress is we try to micro-target um, different CSS classes and, you know, making sure we go to the developer tools and we're actually looking at all the classes that are affected by uh, one particular part of the website that we're trying to change. And we have to get all those classes right, and then we have to make our changes and whatnot. So what's great about the Divi Builder is that it provides easy access to the CSS. So if you want to change the CSS, you can just go ahead and do it. You don't need to go to a child theme. You don't need to go to developer tools. You don't need to look up different stuff. You can just drop it in and go ahead. And so, for example, I've got a standard section open here with our module. If we click on this, we can add any kind of module that we want and the possibilities are really endless. Um, today we're going to choose text and I'm going to drop in some text that I've written out for, to save time. And in the uh, text editor here I've selected text so I can add in my own HTML markup and do whatever I want with it. Um, so that way I'm able to get the, the exact look that I'm looking for. So if we save and exit and we update, you're going to see initially why a lot of people are kind of like, oh, Divi sucks and I don't want to, I don't want to necessarily use it. So we've got an orange background and it just looks kind of vanilla. So the way we fix that is we can actually go here to this hamburger button. We go to design. We can drop down to our heading choose our header font which we want to be permanent marker for this demo I really like permanent marker it's a it's a big favorite hit bold uh, make our font size 37 pixels save and exit want to make sure we've selected light if we select light it's going to change our text to white Text orientation, we can make that center. All this without having to touch a single line of code. Now if we go into the advanced tab, I can add a CSS ID here, CSS class, so if I actually go to my child theme and code out something spectacular, I can drop that in here, which I've already coded something, so I'm going to drop in a CSS ID of BW. We're going to put a text shadow, which is like drop caps, two things. As we can see, we've already got a colored background. And we're going to update. And there, we've just custom styled something. Um, really really fast. Um, you can also do a bunch of different stuff like if we wanted to say do a full width section and have a full width image we could drop that in. Move the image up here as you can see, I've got a lot of functionality that I just don't have. Um, if I tried to hand code all this, it would take me a lot longer than what I just did. 
Um, and it's, it's really simple and really easy. Um, and let's see. if you wanted to, if you wanted to get started in Divi development, the best way to get started is to check out the design tab first and make as many changes as you can there before having to jump to the advanced. Make sure you go through and you read all the different stuff that there is available. Like down here is margin and padding. You can just set that with a box and not have to go to the code to do that. If you want to do line height, letter spacing, you can control all that from right here. Um, so really Divi is going to give you a lot of options. Honestly, I put very little into my child theme anymore because I just, I just don't have to. It's just not necessary. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is that if you're serious about web development and you just don't use Divi because it has a page builder and you frown on that and think, oh, I only like to write my own code. Well, writing your own code is great, but if you have access to a tool like this, why reinvent the wheel? Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.